How are you this evening, my dear? Very well. Only I wish you would not call me my dear. Why? Because it's what my father always calls my mother when he's cross about something. What endearments am I allowed? Well, let me think. Lizzie for every day, my pearl for Sundays, and goddess divine, but only on very special occasions. <sighs> and what shall I call you when I'm cross? Mrs. Darcy? No. No. You may only call me Mrs. Darcy when you are completely and perfectly and incandescently happy. And how are you this evening, Mrs. Darcy? Mrs. Darcy. Mrs. Darcy. Mrs. Darcy. Mrs. Darcy. I have lived a full life here. I have not been trampled on, I have not been petrified. I have not been excluded from every glimpse of what is bright. I have known you, Mr. Rochester, and it strikes me with anguish to be torn from you. Then why must you leave? Because of your wife. I have no wife. But you are to be married. Jane, you must stay. I become nothing to you. Am I a machine without feelings? Do you think that because I am poor, obscure, plain and little, that I am soulless and heartless? I have as much soul as you and full as much heart. And if God had blessed me with beauty and wealth, I could make it as hard for you to leave me as it is for I to leave you. I'm not speaking to you through mortal flesh. It is my spirit that addresses your spirit, as if we'd passed through the grave and stood at God's feet equal, as we are. As we are. I am a free human being with an independent will which I now exert to leave you. Then let your will decide your destiny. I offer you my hand, my heart. Jane, I ask you to pass through life at my side. You are my equal and my likeness. Will you marry me? Are you mocking me? Do you doubt me? Entirely. Your bride is Miss Ingram. Miss Ingram? She is the machine without feelings. It's you, you rare unearthly thing. Poor and obscure as you are, please accept me as your husband. I must have you for my own. You wish me to be your wife? I swear it. You love me? I do. Then Sai will marry you. Do you... Do you feel a draft, Mr. Knightley? About the knees? I cannot say that I do, sir. Ah. Pity. In fact. Yes, sir. A chill draft. Chill. The screen. Bartholomew, Charles, make haste. No, not that. This one. <laughs> No, not that one, this one. How could I ever leave him? He can remove with you to Donwell. You know he never would. He could not stand it. Then I shall come here.
you would quit the Abbey. Yes. Sacrifice your independence. Yeah. Live constantly with my father in no house of your own. Uh, how is it now, Mr. Knightley? It's much better now. I had an inspiration. Why do we have to wait here? Why can't we wait in the country? I don't want to hear any more about a, a divorce or think about it. Good. I'm bored here. When should we go? Well, if I bore you here, I'll bore you in the country. I didn't say you bore me. Moscow bores me. When should we go? Tomorrow? Oh, I can't be ready by tomorrow. The day after then. If you like. No, wait. That's Sunday. I, I have to see my mom. Well, that's 20 minutes away in the train. You could go to see her tomorrow. Or was it that you wanted to spend Sunday with Princess Sorokina? Please. Don't spoil everything. I can't see my more tomorrow because she won't have read the papers she has to sign. In that case, let's not bother. I'll leave on Sunday or not at all. Well, that's absurd. It's absurd to you because you have no understanding of my life here. Anna. No, you've stopped loving me. You've given up everything for me and it's turned you against me. I lie about stop. it. Stop! I put a far departure for a day or two and you tell me I don't love you. Because I've been living off your love and there's none left. So this is over. Finished! I'm sorry. I don't mind when we go. I'll telegraph my mom. We'll go on Sunday. I'll do anything you want. You should leave me. I don't want to. I love you. Why? Can't ask why. So, will you be your pack? I'll be out today making the arrangements. Is that your way of telling me you'll be at your mother's with that simpering little princess? No, I'll be at my lawyer's waiting for some documents. Then I'm having dinner to say goodbye to old comrades. Well, I know what that means. My God, this is unendurable. I can invite them here if you like. Thank you, but if I'm not fit to dine in society, I won't eat with the band. Who was the telegram from? I didn't show you because Stevie keeps telegraphing what we already know. Karenin promises nothing but will consider... I told you I don't care about the divorce, so why hide the telegram? Is there anything you wish to say to me?